Alrighty, again, just another real quick short. We're going to talk about the Mud Pup, the uh, Mud Pupper and the Mud Puppy imitation. Uh, this is actually a jointed, surfaced salamander lure that has the appendages on rings and eye bolts. I'll post the link to all the hardware used on the um, in the production of this. will be on the Thingiverse page. But this is actually different from our other our swim bait design because unlike these swim baits that use metal joints um, eye bolts and pins this actually uses a piece of ribbon I actually purchased this from a retail store it's just a, a polyester ribbon um, pretty durable stuff but this lure prints split down the the back here it's split in half so you have the two halves that come together and they pinch they pinch that ribbon in between those joints and it's actually the two halves are held together I just use this Gorilla um, clear epoxy um, it seems to work really well but um, this is a surface like I said a surface lure with a real subtle kinda like a jerk bait you want to kinda or walking the dog almost if you want to twitch that rod tip as you retrieve this and you'll get this real subtle swimming action and it looks just like a salamander or a mud puppy or a lizard even you could do any kind of paint job you want I just really thought the uh, tiger salamander looked really cool but it looks really convincing on the surface uh, you want to print this at a you know you want to stay less than 50 percent on your infill you definitely want this to float I would say between 30 and 40 percent infill and that should keep you on the surface and one thing to mention is when you affix these two pieces together I use clamps and I clamped the two halves onto the ribbon clamped the two halves onto the ribbon when you get to the head one thing I did do was I added a small section I just snipped off the end of like one of these penny nails and you want to drive it through one side through the ribbon and then out the other side you'll look in the if you look at the uh, file the um, the actual 3D file you can see there's a cavity that I made just for this purpose but you just want to snip off a little bit of the end of the nail and uh, you want to kind of set that in between the two parts and you want to drive that through the ribbon what that does is this particular lure if you catch a, a really nice size bass on this or another nice size, nice size fish whatever species you're fishing for and let's say he's hooked down here on the body and you're really pulling hard I, I just fear that there's a chance that this the head will actually slide off of that ribbon I feel like it might have a chance of coming apart so by taking that nail and driving it through the ribbon and through both halves you've effectively staked it in place and there's really no chance that it's coming apart um, from just failure of the epoxy but all in all it's a really interesting lure I'll have some underwater photography of all these lures so uh, definitely be sure to check that out and like I said before if you guys have any interest of editing this or doing a remix feel free just um, kick me back a link to my original Thingiverse post and uh, good luck you guys and good fishing